The International Union of Food Science and Technology IUFOST, is the global scientific organization and voice for food science and technology representing more than 200,000 food scientists and technologists from over 70 countries. It is a voluntary, non-profit association of national food science organizations. EUFOST is a full scientific member of the established in 1962, devoted to the advancement of, one of only 31 scientific unions worldwide and the only global representative of food science and technology to notable organizations such as the World Health Organization WHO, Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, of the United Nations, United Nations Development Program UNDP, Codex Alimentarius and International Life Sciences Institute ILSI. EUFOST's mission and principles EUFOST's vision is to strengthen global food science and technology for humanity. EUFOST's mission is to promote international cooperation and information exchange, to provide education and training to food scientists and technologists around the world and to promote professionalism and profession organization among food scientists and technologists. Background. The feasibility of establishing an international organization of food scientists and technologists dedicated to the nutritional needs of the people of the world was informally explored during the first International Congress of Food Science and Technology 1962, held in London. The president of the Congress was Lord Rank who crystallized informal discussions that had already been taking place among a number of food scientists from around the world when he stated in his presidential message, if the potentialities of food science and technology are to culminate and nutritionally adequate, then there must be international collaboration." From the Congress emerged the International Committee of Food Science and Technology. The work of this committee culminated in the formal inauguration of the International Union of Food Science and Technology during the Third International Congress of Food Science and Technology convened in 1970 in Washington, D.C., USA. The 1970 meeting in Washington, D.C., USA was referred to as SOS, 70 with SOS referring to science and survival. <laughs> NATO's involvement in the conception of EUFOST In 1960, several British scientific societies and the UK government organised a conference in London in recognition of the centenary of the 1860 Food and Drugs Act UK. It was also the 150th anniversary of Appet's publication on the preservation of foods in sealed containers. In the week prior to the Food and Drugs Conference, Professor John Hawthorne convened a symposium on recent advances in food science at the Glasgow Royal College of Science and Technology, which later metamorphosed into Strathclyde University. The proceedings, edited by Professor Hawthorne and a colleague J. Mule Leach, were published in 1962 by Butterworths. The Glasgow Symposium, to which food scientists from many nations were invited, was financed by a substantial grant from the Office of the Science Advisor to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. During the 1950s and 1960s NATO evinced a significant interest in food technology. The Food and Nutrition Research Laboratory in Toronto, of which I was director, carried out an extensive study for NATO on the bulk storage of food grains examining alternative methods conducive to stockpiling at dispersed sites. One evening following dinner during the Glasgow Symposium, Professors Hawthorne and E. C. Bates-Smith invited a group to meet to discuss the concept of an international food science society. The discussion was splendidly stimulated by Professor Hawthorne's supply of malt whiskey from a Hebridean distillery. The group included Emile Mark and George Stewart from Davis, California, a fellow Canadian Bill Geddes, Dean of Agricultural Biochemistry at the University of Minnesota, Professor H. D. K. from the Dairy Research Institute at Reading, Tim Anson, an American employed with the Lever Organization. Sadly I am the last survivor of that Glasgow group. The notion of international scientific societies was not unique. ICSU, its predecessor and the supporting family of national academies and scientific unions had existed since 1919. The Glasgow Group was of the opinion, however, that the time was ripe to create an international food science society, since several national food science and technology institutes were in existence. Our British hosts undertook to pursue the idea and the result was the Food Science Congress convened in London in 1962, the first of the series of which China will be the host to the 14th. The subsequent history of EUFOST is amply recorded in the archives, but perhaps not everyone is aware of NATO's early intervention. By Joseph H. Hulse, past president, EUFOST. Topic: The Budapest Declaration. 
In response to a shift in research focus among food scientists and technologists towards combating chronic hunger problems in the less developed world, EUFOST released its Budapest Declaration during its seventh General Assembly in Budapest, Hungary, 1995. Referencing the Joint FAO, WHO International Conference on Nutrition Rome, 1992, and its World Declaration on Nutrition, EUFOST declared its determination to minimize hunger and to reduce all forms of malnutrition throughout the world. To do this, EUFOST declared its commitment to work with all other organizations to ensure sustained nutritional well-being for all people in a peaceful, just and environmentally safe world. The declaration further recognized the central role of food science and technology in ensuring the year-round availability of the quantity and variety of safe and wholesome foods necessary to meet the nutritional needs of the world's growing population. This declaration would guide EUFOST's working policy for the next 15 years. The Cape Town Declaration During 2010's 13th General Assembly of EUFOST in Cape Town, South Africa, the EUFOST General Assembly adopted the Cape Town Declaration, setting out its commitments to food safety, food security and food science education. It recognized the previous work that had been conducted since the Budapest Declaration while outlining a policy for EUFOST future work with the global food science and technology industry. HTTP colon slash slash EUFOST. Org, Cape Town Declaration. Topic. Membership Membership in the International Union of Food Science and Technology is open to all nations on the basis of one representative body from each nation or defined territory. EUFOST represents more than 200,000 food scientists and technologists worldwide through its adhering bodies. This also includes regional groups in Western Africa WAFOST West African Association of Food Science and Technology, Europe EFOST European Federation of Food Science and Technology, Asia FIFSTA the Federation of the Institutes of Food Science and Technology in ASEAN and Latin America, Caribbean ALACCTA Latin American and the Caribbean Association of Food Science and Technology. Governance structure The General Assembly develops and controls EUFOST policies and actions. The Governing Council sets the objectives for the term of office and the Board implements strategies to achieve the objectives. The Scientific Council maintains the scientific standard and integrity of EUFOST activities. EUFOST formed the International Academy of Food Science and Technology Yavost, to recognize individuals with outstanding leadership in food science and technology. Yavost is a learned society composed of elected members, fellows, from all parts of the world. EUFOST's regional groupings, EFOST Europe, ALACCTA Latin America, WAFOST West Africa, and FIFSTA Southeast Asia are an integral part of the organization. Standing committees and disciplinary groupings comply with the EUFOST constitution and they are guided by the General Assembly. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Programs and achievements EUFOST missions consist of Delivering educational programs, student scholarships and opportunities for young scientists, including distance learning, which is currently being developed for Sub-Saharan Africa. EUFOST pilot projects are underway in Sub-Saharan Africa providing distance learning modules to food industry middle managers without formal qualifications. These modules are conducted with local advisors, mentors and prepared by international experts. Courses have been created from basic to advanced learning levels in themes like food safety, quality assurance including HACCP, shelf life of foods, packaging, food laws and regulations, food hygiene, food freezing, practical human nutrition, minimal processing. EUFOST is also a leader and advisors in international programming for food science and technology courses worldwide workshops and training in all aspects of food science and technology worldwide. Providing scientific expertise by providing experts for short courses and workshops, and organizing conferences and symposia, in partnership with our adhering bodies and regional groupings, on important current issues such as food safety, security, traceability, and food defense by working directly with organizations on a consultant basis. For example, EUFOST has been working with the relevant Chinese ministries, by invitation and under the auspices of the Ministry of Health, China to present the latest authoritative international perspectives on food safety issues in a series of high level meetings in Beijing. EUFOST has also been assisting member countries in advising their national governments in areas of food legislation when requested. 
providing global leadership through EUFOST biennial World Food Congresses, guidelines for professional conduct in the food science industry, provision of core curricula and accreditation expertise and scientific information bulletins on currently important topics such as obesity, nanotechnology, biotechnology. These bulletins are used by governments, industry and academia worldwide. As the global food science and technology organization EUFOST has special consultative status with FAO. Similarly EUFOST works closely with related departments in the World Health Organization, United National International Development Organization UNIDO, and many other international organizations in the course of strengthening food science and technology for humanity. Stimulating exchange of knowledge in the international food science and technology community through the electronic magazine, The World of Food Science. The annual review of the state of global food science and technology, textbooks, World Congress review papers and the Hunger Handbook applying food science and technology to improve nutrition and promote national development. EUFOST publishes the core food science and technology textbook for food science and technology, Food Science and Technology, published by Wiley Blackwell. Topic: <laughs> EUFOST's key activities. The Biennial World Food Congress EUFOST is holding its 16th World Congress in Iguazu Falls, Brazil from August 5–9, 2012. The theme for this Congress is, "...addressing global food security and wellness through food science and technology." www.eufost.org.br Involvement in Regional Symposia 2011-2012 IUFOST is active in regional symposia across the globe. In 2012 alone EUFOST representatives will attend workshops in East Africa, the FIFSTA regional meetings in Manila, Philippines, food safety workshops and meetings in Beijing, China, Warsaw, Poland and Dublin, Ireland. EUFOST Scientific Information Bulletins SIBs, SIBs addresses cutting edge explain the scientific principles involved in a topic, underpinned by the scientific expertise of the authors of each SIB and including provision of key and scientifically reliable online and other sources of additional information. Each SIB is prepared by world authorities selected by the EUFOST Scientific Council. Each is reviewed and approved by the EUFOST Scientific Council. Topic: Disciplinary groups. International specialist bodies form disciplinary groups under the EUFOST umbrella. These currently include the International Society of Food Engineers ISFE, the International Society for Nutraceuticals and Functional Foods ISNFF, the International Symposium on the Properties of Water ISOPOW, the International Food Research Collaboration IFRC, and the International Society of Food Applications of Nanoscale Sciences ISFANS. EUFOST Working Groups, Task Forces, Committees Emergency Response Group Food Safety Committee, Task Force Food Safety Panel Food Security Committee Food Security Task Force Distance Education Task Force Education Committee Academy Fellows Forum Emerging Issues Forum Food, Health and Wellness Committee Food, Health and Wellness Forum Aflatoxin Working Group Topic publications E-Newsline Textbook, Food Science and Technology, Wiley Blackwell Lebensmittel Wissenschaft and Technology LWT, Food Science and Technology in, in German, an official journal of EUFOST, published by Elsevier in Amsterdam. Trends in Food Science and Technology TIFS, an official publisher of EUFOST Elsevier Food Central, an official publisher of EUFOST World of Food Science, online journal jointly published by EUFOST and the Institute of Food Technologists IFT, 1. Proceeding from over 100 scientific meetings published in book form, journal and also through electronic publishing. EUFOST World Congresses Headquarters The EUFOST Secretariat is headquartered in a suburb of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> 